I'm Scott Thuman. Roughly half of the U.S. workforce is employed by small business, and this is the worst time in recent memory to be a small business owner or employee. Yeah, it really is. Coronavirus has prompted massive job losses that are literally crippling our economy. Tonight, as part of our ongoing series, The New Us, Jay O'Brien looks at the job market, how long we can go on like this, and where the opportunities will show up. An eight-hour line of cars at this West Palm Beach food giveaway Thank you. paints a pretty clear picture of how people are doing right now. It's definitely going to help a lot. Most of those waiting in their cars for donated groceries tell us they lost their job in the coronavirus shutdown. Children don't have food. Elderly don't have food. If I could go back on Monday, I'll be ready to go. To take care of these people. The man organizing this is Rodney Mayo. Did you no. ever expect this? No, not at all. I never, and I still don't believe it. <laughs> As businesses suffer, Mayo's included, layoffs and furloughs cut deep into the American economy, leaving more and more people looking for help. There is and a need right now. It, there was a need three weeks ago. About three weeks ago, Nick Stump told half of his employees he couldn't afford to keep them. And he wasn't alone. Of the nearly half million unemployed in Florida due to COVID-19, one in ten worked in a non-essential retail business like Nick's Fleet Feet. It's been really tough having it as quiet as it's been inside the store. Nick is adapting, making a fraction of his usual sales online, his sneakers sitting on store shelves untouched. Are you genuinely worried that you might have to close? The thought passes through my mind, but it's not something I can think about. The history teacher turned running store owner is just hoping to survive until the shutdown is over. You prepare for the worst and hope for the best situation. According to the state of Florida, coronavirus hasn't hit manufacturing as hard. And some factories are even experiencing a boom. We have received so many requests for our technology. Ron Saunders is co-owner of Fresh Air UV, a company making ultraviolet light disinfecting systems. Demand for these, as you'd imagine, is through the roof. When we come in on Saturdays, the roads are empty and this parking lot is full. And they're hiring. We are uh, three months behind on orders that I could ship if I had enough personnel. In our new world, cleaning technology is a growth industry. But more traditional businesses like restaurants and shops could continue to struggle. A couple different parameters. The biggest hurdle for millions out of work is whether those business owners like Nick will be able to afford to bring them back. If you consistently believe in yourself, which is what you did when you first got into this, you can make it. Like you're gonna do it. Nick spends most of his time right now applying for government loans and grants so he can rehire some of his employees and stay afloat. But the concern is when that money dries up, will our economy be back to normal? I'm Jay O'Brien, CBS 12 News. Thanks, Jay. Thousands remain stuck at sea in South Florida. The order prohibiting them from getting off the ship. And some experts fearing that we could see another type